Have you taken a photo of a soft penis and then put fake eyes on it? I have not. Oh, they look like elephants. It's adorable. I make live action films and stuff. My ex hated it. But I was like, you don't know art. It slapped you in the face. My first hobby was forced on me, and it was tennis. I played tennis for 12 years. I went up to nationals and everything, and then my tits got too big. I was smacking myself in the face, knocking myself out. It was a, <laughs> a chocoholic diva, and then it was also um, baby fat, but with a big letter, small letter, big letter, small letter. And not that, like, fat, fat, like, P-H-A-T, little T, big T. Do you remember when boob tubes were belts? So you wear your jeans and you get the boob tube, but then you'll put it down just above your fupa to hide it, but it's accentuated it. I got my period at home, mum was at work. She was on her second job. The only person at home was my father, who I can't look in the eye. You can't, he's, a, looks, he's such an Asian man. He might as Malaysian Indian. So telling that man that I got my period and then watching him react, <laughs> sit down, don't move. Oh, does it hurt? Doesn't know what to do, doesn't know what to say. He's throwing pads, toilet rolls at me from a distance. Oh, it's for sure my grandma. She's been a single mother um, with nothing. And she worked in the Toka markets on the street and sat on a brick and sold eggplants on the street. And now I'm here. She does some bad bitch behavior. Some stuff I can't say on camera. She did some bad bitch behavior. Probably um, Paul Holmes calling Kofi Annan a chikitaki. That moment, I think, for sure, changed my perception of who I was. That word started to transcend into my life. And now I was being called it, my family members were being called it. So it was a defining moment for me as a person of color in this country, because it was the first time I realized I'm, I don't think I'm a Kiwi kid. They're not gonna see me as a wheat bix kid. Unfortunately, it's a little bit different for me. Stickers. Oh my God. Girls would have folders and folders and folders of stickers. And we would like smelling ones, bumpy ones, butterfly ones. Some girl, the pretty, pretty girl would have the pretty stickers. And you're like, oh, bitch, how? And then you go to your parents and like, I want stickers. Like it was a pandemic. It was really bad at the time. It was Valentine's Day. And my crush's birthday was on Valentine's Day as well. He didn't know he was my crush. No one knew. I bought a Valentine's Day card. And I wrote this, like, beautiful thing. And then I wrote my name at the bottom of it. And just before I go put it in his locker, I'd rip out my name. They shared the letter, the card around. So everybody's reading this card. And they're like, oh, so Corey, oh my God, like, who would do this? And I was like, who would do this? I'm like on the brink of like, this is the most horrifying thing. They line up all the girls and they're like, hey, write down your name so we can analyze the writing to figure out who this is. Who is this crazy person? But what I did is I wrote with a bad hand and everything. So never, no one ever figured out who it was. Now, several years later, it was me. It was me. <laughs>